everyone welcome to my series let's build this project so this week's project we're going to build an ai project and i think this project probably not gonna finish in a week I'm, i should call it monthly a uh, project anyway so it is an ai project that is utilizing the uh, api of the ai so basically like open ai api we're not going to build like a crazy model um, ai so the ideas that we wanted to build is like the assistance inside your web application so uh, so example like this so for example you have like a website and our product our project that we're going to build is like a plugin it's like a component that put in the corner of the website right here and so it's like a bubble chat so when the user click on this one we're going to open like a chat box right here so the user can chat have a conversation with it and that ask that that can answer to like the question related to the product of this website right here okay so that is the project that we are building so i split this one into like three version so everyone can do this project together so even though if you are beginner that just uh the beginner intermediate or whoever that wanted to build this one so i think everyone can build this uh all of this feature so the first feature like the first or the first version of this of, of our project is like a statics website and like a static component so basically we have like a component right here that will uh, have a statics so when the user click on this one we're going to open this one but inside this one we're going to have like a preset question okay we're going to have like a preset questions uh, like this okay oops we're gonna do this and with all of the preset question right here the user can just click on those preset question it's going to we're gonna immediately respond with the preset um, answer so basically everything is static there's no like a user input at all the user can just click 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 right here and that is a really simple versions of the assistant right here the chat assistant right here okay so you can build this one with any tech stack that you want so all right let's move on to the second version so the second version is the same as this one so i'm just going to copy uh this one and then move it right here so the second version of this one is right now our chat box has the ability to chat so it means the user can be able to send the message through the chat box right here so the user can send a message right here and so in this version our chat box our assistant is matter so they have knowledge about your products so let's say this uh, feature like this product uh, this website right here is about coffee so right now our assistant uh, have the knowledge about your coffee like where it's coming from like just example like where you're coming from and how much it costs and things like that so that is the second version it has a knowledge so since it has a knowledge so it need a place to store those data so the second version is a little bit tricky so to accomplish that so first you need to have like a database that can store off your data but it's not going to be like a normal database it is going to be like a vector um a vector database that store all the data and so it's like i'm going to do like a, a vector db and then when we have a knowledge like a data inside our database so we need to answer it it's like a human being right and to respond them to like a human being so we need to use an open ai so we need to use an open ai api to like you know to respond back to the user with the knowledge that we have here and so it feel like a human conversation so that is the second version of what we are doing so the technology is using like a vector db and open ai api and so for the vector db right here i recommend maybe i recommend because since i using it as well so i using like a pg vector so this one is from superbase so pg vector like from superbase uh i'm put this one right here so i'm from superbase and also if you like you want to have like a reference and um, to see like example of someone i built it before i like, this project this video right here uh like as you can see chat your file using superbase and actually so is it like a really good uh video if you wanted to build something similar to our what we are doing right here so we have like they have some example but not completely the same so you you need to like you know learn the basic knowledge about this one and then after that you apply it and make the the version of this uh, our project right here and 
Also, I think we need to build, I think, one feature. We need to build a dashboard. So the dashboard right here is going to a place that we're going to pump the data into our database. Okay, so that is the second version. So it's a little, it's a lot bigger. And so we need to have like all of this to insert to database. So you maybe you can try to find a way to skip this one, but you can do like do whatever it takes just to have like a data inside your uh, database that can like be query and answer with open API to the user right here. Okay. So to make this one even realistic, so you need to think about, okay, um, how to protecting the spam. So for example, in, when they send a message right here, there's going to be a lot of spam, a spam. So people like, you know, typing random things. So we need to limit on the number of questions that they going, that, that they can be able to ask because you know, open AI is, is not free, right? Even Superbase vector DB is not free as well. So it's free initially, but open AI is not free. So like, if you look at the pricing of the open AI, so like the mode, like the latest model is a lot of expensive, but I think you can just get away with like this version right here. It's kind of really cheap as well. Like, you know, 1 million token is like only this. Yeah, like $2 or $1 one, with 1 million token. And so you need to think like about the cost of it as well. It's seen if it's like, okay, if like a friendly hobby project, probably we need to think about it. But uh, if you like, uh, if your product has a lot of like money, generate a lot of revenue, I, and I think it's fine, like just to pay all of the things. But yeah, we need to think about like some rate limiting on the question. So you need to do like uh, rate limiting, okay? Rate limiting as well. All right. So that uh, maybe you can like allow 20 to 30 allow, to, to, let's say 30 question, 30 question a day. So I do like 30 Q a day right here. Okay. Great. So this is like the new version. There was a lot of things going on right here. Our AI is become smart. It has a knowledge uh, and it has some limit, a li uh, rate limited to it as well. So the third version of it is to build on top of all of these things. So I'm going to, maybe I can create a group of this one. Okay. So the second, the third version, this is like the final version and is to allow the user who send the message right here. So let's say uh, they typing, they send a message with a bot, right? This is a bot. And they do not feel like talking to it anymore. They want a real assistant. So we need to have create a feature that allow the user to, you know, request a live chat with the customer, like uh, with, with the real person. So um, like, you know, like the new version is going to be like a, a, a live chat with, um, you know, Asian. Yeah, I'm gonna say this one, live, live with Asian, so they can chat with the real people. So I think with this feature, we're gonna introduce another sub feature that inside here. So the user need to be authentication. And then so while well, they, uh, they need to authentication. And so we need to create like a dashboard for like listening to the request, like a dashboard for like, you know, uh, request or like message request message request um, okay and so that's it like the sub feature probably i missed something right here because um i do like you do not know completely yet on the third version but like the idea of the third version is the allow the user to request a live agent so you need to think about how to like doing it and so right now to be honest like i have no idea like on the third version right here and how to do it and how it works because uh, I cannot like okay think about what kind of pro what kind of like website that need kind of the thing, but I see a lot in example in like um in the, like the planes uh, like the airplanes app. I think for for me personally, I use that because I used to chat with a bot to troubleshoot like the plane ticket until I requested a live agent, and then so it works similarly to this one. But the process, so I need to think about the process. So you need to do your own research on this uh, to do this feature as well. Okay. So yeah, I think that pretty much it of this project AI. So I'm gonna call it like a daily assistant. Yeah, I'm gonna call it daily assistant. So um, let's see how long uh, I'm gonna finish this one, and let's see how long you are gonna finish all of this feature. So if you finish one of the version of this one, just uh, drop it down in the comment below and 
or go join my discord and ping me that the result that you've done so i'm gonna go and check and review it as well so i would love to see how you do it and we're gonna learn so much by doing this one it's gonna be a really great project to put on your resume as well and i know this is not original project at all like you know there's a lot of uh, thing that you uh, you see it already this is not original ideas but hey um you know it's it's nice to like you know to build something like this but by not just copy from the other okay just go ahead go to google learn how to do it and like you know research on like feature on how to do things this i put you give you the reference on how to do it so let's build it together and let's see um uh, let's see how we do it so yeah all right, so I think uh, that's pretty much it. By doing this one, I feel like I'm, I'm a project manager right now, <laughs> which I really like a lot. So, all right, so I'll keep you guys updated uh, whenever I finish each version or if, if there are something interesting is going on, on on this project right here. And I do not know how long I'm going to finish. I'll keep you guys updated. So as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.